And I call the member for Rome. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Who thought science could be so delicious? Today I rise to speak about the delights, tastes, smells and scientific principles of Ben Milbourne's Food Lab series. I recently attended the launch of Food Lab and was impressed to see the science behind the food we eat. And while I profess not to be a scientist, this new television series will serve a degustation of education through cooking. Ben's partnership with the University of Queensland will take viewers on a culinary journey through the world of food. Members here in the chamber might know Ben a little better from his involvement as a finalist in the hit TV show MasterChef. And prior to his foray into television, Ben was the head of science at two Queensland high schools. And of course, some knew him as a Brisbane Lions AFL player. Food Lab is a show believed to be the first of its kind in Australia. It demonstrates different scientific aspects and principles in a fun and entertaining way through cooking. In each episode, Ben explores science and how it is applied to kitchens and restaurants Australia-wide. Viewers will learn a little about the underlying scientific principles they themselves apply in the kitchen each day. Each episode of the series will open with some of the University of Queensland's most engaging teachers and researchers, with more than two-thirds of each episode filmed across UQ's stunning campuses from St Lucia and Hurston to its Gatton rural setting. Food Lab can, and I believe will, play a significant role in addressing Australia's engagement with science, technology, engineering and maths (STEM). It will also highlight the excellence that Queensland demonstrates in these fields. Through this partnership, I hope younger Australians will be inspired to pursue careers in science and promote Australia's research excellence to the world. Also in the planning stages is an online series that will be produced along with the television series aligned with the high school science curriculum. Each episode of the online series will encompass a lesson plan and other resources for teachers. I think it is safe to say that the old classroom science experiment of vinegar and bicarbonate of soda is a memory of the distant past. Food Lab will provide yet another avenue of highly engaging content for teachers and students alike. In essence, it will bring science to real life, especially for those hungry teenagers in classrooms across Australia. I urge members today to look out for the 13-episode series of Food Lab, which began airing on Channel 10 this month on Saturdays at 3 p.m. This very modern approach to science and learning is exciting to say the least. Even more interesting is the fact that this is yet again another homegrown inspiration supported by the University of Queensland, which continues to excel in all fields. Who would have thought that enjoying food could stem from the kitchen into more than just cooking? As the Big Bang Theory created interest in studying physics, I expect Food Lab to do the same for STEM in Australia. Congratulations to the University of Queensland and Ben Milbourne on this new venture. I thank the